And what's up, everybody? It has been a bit. I know I, I've been slacking on the videos. I'm gonna be quiet. You see the gator over here. On the way over to the schoolhouse, I'm gonna build a. Uh, we had to build a ramp. I think to get to the shed. But I decided to swing by the creek to see if there's any gators. And sure enough, there's one right there. Oh, there's two of them. Check it out. See, there was drop number one right there. They're gonna love it. I just, I just been informed, but Rust the Sus has been creeping by. Creeper. He's a creeper. He's a creeper. Big. So I left my tripod at home, and um, so I'll be filming with my hands all day. I'm so close I can get before they go in the water. Definitely two of them right there. Five or six footers. The farmer looks to be about seven or eight foot. There you go. Oh yeah, there he goes. Yeah, that's definitely about eight footer. He's probably about seven. So right now you probably don't want to go swimming in the creek here at Otter Creek. Uh, because you have about an eight footer right there, maybe six. I don't know. I, I haven't really seen that guy's tail just yet. He hasn't moved. He's just sitting there sunning. But uh, I'm about to head over to the schoolhouse and I'll start building this. But for now, these guys are just going to be chilling. Check out the uh, bass bed down in the creek there. See those big uh, beds? Those are for the bass. Or from the bass, I should say. So I just left the creek. Going down the road by the ranch and checking out the beekeepers over here getting the bees next to the ranch. So those are the power lines right next to, well, the ranch. Where am I? What am I doing? Well, for one, I forgot my tripod and my, my good clip that goes on top of this tripod is not on here, so you're probably gonna fall off a bunch of, bunch of times a day. But I'm at the schoolhouse and we got a new awesome mower right there. Boom. And we need to be able to get that mower inside the shit. So what does that mean I get to do? This is my favorite things of always. And let's get to build something. So we got some leftover two by fours inside from the uh, from uh, deconstructing and refurbishing and all that stuff. So I'm gonna get some of those two by fours, bring my hair. I gotta make a ramp long enough to where I can actually get up and into the um, the shed without bottoming out. So let's get that wood and let's get started. How about them gators at the creek, right? That's pretty cool. See, there was drop number one right there. Boy, this is gonna be tough. See, so I got this little. This 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 clip today. I don't got the one that actually. Cause that's not, that's on my tripod. The LRG got me, which is at the house. So, hang on for a tight ride today. Or tight ride, tough ride. <laughs> so if you remember when Brian was uh, Mr. Kool Aid Man in the uh, the schoolhouse, he took down a lot of two by fours, cut off all the nails. So we got all these extra two by fours that are well, they're not extra. They're just left over that uh, we get to use. So we're gonna use these these two by fours to frame out the ramp. But we want to get plywood for it. Or, I've got no two by fours. I could probably just make it a complete two by four ramp. Hmm, that could be an idea. I 
Not yet. Yeah, maybe I should just make it all two by fours the whole way. And then we can be done with it. I'll probably be done with it like in an hour. But you know what I gotta do right now is I actually got a gift from Grandma Gail. She, uh, Georgia just gave me a gift. Oh yeah, my new hat. I love digging my new hat too. Um, so let's get a gift real quick. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a zip tie on the ring and onto that thing. So every time you fall off, you won't hit the ground. Yeah, so I get here, uh, George gave me a, a gift from Grandma Gail to What You Doing Willis. So we're going to check it out. You guys get to check it out with me right now. So I see Brian, Brian's in there getting stuff done. Oh yeah, that, oh. this is a straight line, chalk line. But these are like some of the best chalk lines there are actually. Sweet. Yeah, that's what's up right there. I, I have a chalk line, but uh, these old school straight line ones are freaking the bottom. Man, that's cool. Well, Grandma Gail, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. That will be something that will be used. It'll be used here pretty soon too. I was just using it off the track the other day. I had to, so. Awesome, thanks Grandma Gail, appreciate you. Cool thing about, look. And these things, you don't have to worry about the plastic thing breaking. Snaps right in. Cool. So really, in all actuality or all honesty, like this, this is really gonna take me like I don't know, ten minutes to build this thing. So, but what I was gonna do is I got a zip tie, and so because this thing keeps popping off, like see how easy it is to take you guys off like that. I can't do that with the other one. I got to like unscrew it. But uh, there's my ring on there, the finger ring thing I got. So I'm put this zip tie through it, and I'm gonna zip tie this to here that thing right there somewhere oh when this lifts up there's a little thing around that and now when the phone falls off it don't hit the ground because it's already hit the ground twice i'm trying not to hurt you guys today okay i'm gonna build this ramp so, again it's gonna be quick and easy so easy and i think jeremy's gonna like the idea of just use all two of them. we got plenty of two by fours in there we're just gonna use them why buy plywood when we just use all those two by fours unless we're building something else maybe a tree for her so now I got you guys zip tied on there. You don't have to worry about falling off. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So ideally, basically what I'm gonna do here, is I got my deck screws, and you can already see where there is something on there. I'm gonna find a longer tool before it goes from one end to the other, right? And then, to get the saw, I mean, you don't even have to get the saw. I might go ahead and bring it up a little bit where it go, oh, I might not be able to go flush. Yeah, just run them all across and look, watch, look how fast you can have it done already. Watch. What do you think? That'll work? I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't. Like I said, we'll be done and I'll just cut them all even. Make, I'll, I'll, I'll do it nice, but it's just, it's not going to take long at all. So, it's going to be the longer one. That way, there's no, no need to buy lumber. They can hold me. Nothing's nailed together, obviously. Yeah, I think that'd be long enough, too. Drive the motor up in here. It's a piece of cake. So, yeah. Didn't work out like a plan. All right. I just, I just been informed, but Rusta Sus has been creeping by throughout the times that uh, we're here working. He's so, a creeper. He's a creeper. Big time, big time. So I, we looked earlier, it wasn't him. We had two cars go by, but a few cars I missed. But uh, so Jeremy didn't like the idea about two by four. So we're not gonna do two by fours. We'll go ahead and frame it out. And then I'll go get some plywood and put it on there and then be done. He'll paint some grip on it too. But let's go see, where's he at? He know he's gotta be around here somewhere. Old Russ. There's old Russ. You think if I wait long enough, he'll come by? How's it, Russ? Probably won't be much longer now. 
It is hot. Definitely hot. Take this next one, Tim. Uh oh. Nope. It's not rust. All the way back. Pretty nice, isn't it? Oh. No rust to us right now. Let's get back to working on this thing. Basically now, you have these two eight-footers. I'll go ahead and cut a little bit of an angle so it goes flush. Tone it out, scab in the sides. And I'll probably angle it at the bottom too. And then, uh, be flush to the ground. Same thing on the other side. Same thing in the middle. Was that rust? Mm, nope. Not yet. Would you look at that? Oh, that's not Ross. Look how good this looks. Where all fits. Boom. So now I'll cut an angle at the bottom. So it'll be a flat bottom. Oh. Sure. I thought that was Russ going by, but it was a white truck. Is Russ in a white truck? I think he's in a blue truck, right? It was a white Ford Ranger. This went by. I missed it. I know someone's told him pizza, pizza, see? Yeah, we got some. We got some over there. Pizza, pizza. Yeah, that's what I was going to do, too. I was just going to... Yeah. And then slap the slap the plywood right over it. Yeah, we'll put a couple in the middle. We'll get some treated plywood and... Nope. Yep. As I mean, don't eat treated plywood. You can cover this, you can cover that stuff. But they don't give a fine. This thing's honest, you got how much... A couple million dollars for lumber for free already from the... I mean, I, got, I had to pay 150000 for it. Well, you know, well, yeah. And then labor expenses after that, but... Hey. He's gonna have to pick it up. Didn't have to pick it up, it was already here. Yeah. Yeah, the bait on those cut it. I wanna make like a nice, a smooth transition. So that's what we're doing here. Yeah, I thought I see a rust go by, but he's a blue truck, right? He's got multiple trucks. I just saw a white Ford Ranger. I don't think he has a white Ford Ranger. I, I didn't think so either. But, but you'll, you'll see him. him. Don't you worry, you'll see him. We've been, wait, we've been watching for him. Cutting the angle down here. So what I'm gonna do, as you can see, so I cut like a nice little slope there. How way. If you didn't know, well, I'm not going to say something because I haven't caught up just yet, but uh, that way the um, person who's staying here can drive that mower up in there. So, so what I'm going to do, see? See the cut there? That's, that's the cut. I think I should do it the other way. And once I get it cut out, I'll go ahead and mimic it on that one. So we got the little angle here. It goes flush against the shed. I think that I should go the other way, like this. Yeah, I gotta do opposite. See, that's how my brain works. It works backwards all the time. It's aggravating, to be honest with you. Yeah, so I'm not gonna go that way. No, I am glad I pay attention. If you don't pay attention, you make the wrong cuts. Nope.
I'm actually going to do one more for the middle. I got to do it two inches shorter and then I'll just toenail it into that, that header board right there. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to mark it out and then cut it. All right, one more to cut out. Still no signs of rust, but uh, it's not to say you didn't sneak by when I wasn't paying attention. So Jeremy's going to run and grab some, uh, some plywood. I'll finish framing this out and then uh, we'll get that plywood stuff down and this will be done and on to the next thing. Whoop, nope, not rust. That's not Russ. That's a poop house. He's slowing down. I wonder if he's coming here. He is coming here. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, now at this point, I'll go ahead and screw these on. Then I'll make the right adjustments down low. And the outside frames will be done. And that will be that. So. So now I just measure across numbers. I don't know what I just put them in there and then uh, put in a plywood on top of it. And that's it. Then we're done. Uh, I'll get the right measurement. Oops. Smack the shed like that too. But uh, we'll go ahead and put a couple in throughout and then one flat down here. Then when Jeremy gets back with the plywood, we'll put a plywood on and then this will be done. See, there's a little bit of a lip right there. I gotta make sure the door can shut. So that's why we gotta leave that lip there. But once the plywood goes on, it's gonna raise up three quarters of an inch, so we might have to trim that a little bit off. I'm not sure it is yet. We don't know until we plow it on there. But the plywood should make it come right up or just a little bitty. I don't know what, where that came from while I'm doing it, but. Did you just see that truck pull in? Yeah, the one with the poop house on it? Yeah, the poop house. I was talking about that. Somebody ordered us an outhouse, but it wasn't me. Is that really? Probably rest the sus. I was wondering if he was in the in the poop box. Yeah, well, I'd like to get him there. It wasn't me. I told the guy he's got to go. Huh. All right, gonna go get your wood. All right, he's going to go get my wood. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's mysterious. Somebody ordered a poop box. Who ordered the poop box? Jeremy says it wasn't him. This is pretty, this is, this is an easy build right here. Pretty pumped on it. It'll be done in no time. That's what I've been saying all morning, huh? Or all afternoon, I think. I think it's like late. Don't worry, it's all fake. We're all paid, so it doesn't matter. We're all we're all paid actors, so it's creeping. No rust. Up, up. Mm, I don't think that. Oh.